So I think it will depend in the in the first line uh, as to what happens with um, with several phase three studies. So we have a, a phase three study accruing with uh, with Bev and atezolizumab, uh, comparing that to sunitinib. We have uh, a, a CTLA-4 ipilimumab plus uh, PD-1 nivolumab in the first line that's accrued uh, compared to sunitinib. Now, if either of those studies beat sunitinib, uh, we have a new first line therapy in that regard. Uh, we don't know how they would stack up against cabozantinib as a single agent or in combination. There are combination studies with cabozantinib uh, that are ongoing at, at present. And then subsequently, um, uh, we also have uh, studies comparing sunitinib with uh, exitinib uh, and a monoclonal antibody directed to either PD-1 or PDL one So the answer is it depends. A whole lot could change. Um, or we may end up with group selection based on markers like PDL1 uh, for a group of first line. And then that will all impact uh, what happens with subsequent therapies. Uh, and uh, so the outcomes will, 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 will dictate uh, a new sequence uh, where we put some of the older drugs is going to be uh, likely more art than science. We're not going to have trials to tell us that.